Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen Harris. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day, so you do get regular content from me. So I hope you will consider subscribing. Today I'm filming a video that I've had planned forever and I finally have the time. So I did sit down and film it for you guys. I'm basically doing a first impressions on the Carly Bible palette. Now this is the deluxe edition of the palette. It came out a while ago and I actually picked mine up on Ulta.com and it's just been sitting there gathering dust until I could find the time to you know make a first impressions video for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on this palette, just keep watching. Okay guys, so really what I like to do when I get a new palette is either make a swatch video for you guys or review it for you, but a lot of the times I have so many palettes coming in that either I'll do a swatch video and be done with it or do a review later on. So with the Carly Bible palette, I just kind of held on to it because I really wanted to film a first impressions and actually put it on my face because there are highlighters in here as well as eyeshadows and so the time just kept going and going and I just never got around to it so finally I am sitting down to film this so basically she decided to come up with this palette which is basically the deluxe version of her original palette with BH Cosmetics and I believe this is $22 or something like that it's very affordable you can usually use it with a discount code and get it for a little bit cheaper either on the BH Cosmetics website or the Ulta.com website. They always carry this as well and I've seen tons of them at my local Ulta. So it's relatively easy to get a hold of. It didn't like sell out like crazy and stuff like that. So I really appreciate BH Cosmetics for not creating unnecessary chaos. And of course Carly Bible, she has been on YouTube for a really long time. And she's actually one of those YouTubers I feel like that really stays away from the drama, has her own thing. She's like vegan and she's like very concerned about the earth and stuff like that, which I think is really admirable. So there's a little bit more depth to her, I think. And I think that's a good thing, especially when so many young girls look up to you as a really big YouTuber. I think it's really important to kind of talk about some important causes and things like that. So basically it does come with a little sleeve like this and they mirror each other, but on the back here it says 21 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette. This Carly Bible Deluxe Edition 21 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette exudes the YouTube Beauty Maven signature glam girl style. This palette features the original 11 shades plus 10 new chic eyeshadow shades and highlighters in buttery blendable formula with staying power. So yeah, basically it was weird because I don't think I've ever seen another company do this where they kept the 11 original shades and added 10 new ones. But I think what happened was, if I remember right, Carly said she just felt like there were a few shades missing in this palette or the original palette. So she decided to come out with one with more. So I think that's really cool. I don't have the original on me, but I did own it. So I will link the review I did with that palette in the card so you guys can check it out. But I did film this look, so I'm going to go ahead and pop into that right now. Okay, so I did zoom you guys in so you could see what I was doing. And this is what the palette looks like. Again, close up. It's so pretty. It looks exactly like the previous palette, which I don't have to show you guys because I did end up returning that one. And I did swatch it when I first got it, but I haven't touched it since. So let's go ahead and play with it. So let's see here. First thing I want to do is grab a transition color. So I'm going to use, yes, I'm going to use the Morphe R38. This is from the Rose Gold Collection and dip into this beautiful shade. These don't have names, so let me see if I can point it out to you. I don't know if I can bend this. Okay, so I'm going to use this shade right here. I already set my eyeshadow, so I don't need to do that. Um, but this shade looks really pretty. There is a little bit of kick up, but nothing too crazy. And I'm just going to place this in the crease. And then I'm already seeing the color I want to use next. It's the one right below it. And these are like literally my favorite eyeshadows to put in the crease are these pinky purpley colors. Oh my god, I don't know what it is. They just look so good with my complexion. So I'm going to dip in with that same brush and go right on top of that crease color I just put down.
Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to darken up the crease um, with this dark purpley shade. If you were going to darken it up, like if you wanted a smoky look, there's really not a lot of dark shades in here. This palette is really like a lot of transition shades and a lot of really nice shimmers and a lot of really nice light matte like brow bone highlights. So since I haven't put anything in my brow bone, I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild brush and tap into this first color here. It's like a peachy light color and I always just place that right below the brow. Those are like my go-to shades. And then if you want to lighten it up even more, there's a shade down here. It's like a butter color. So I'll just throw that in my brow bone as well. These ones do feel a little bit powdery. As you can see, they're getting a little dusty on my brow bone. So that's a little hard to work with. And then I just want to pop a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to use this pinky shade right here using that same brush just to add a little bit of shine right in that brow bone as well. And then I'm going to go back in our 38 and just make sure those colors are blending together well so that it's not like creating like a stripe. So yeah, love that. Okay, so to darken up the outer corner, I'm going to use a Morphe brush. I'm going to use this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe R39. And I'm going to dip into that dark purple shade, like I said. Dust it off. You always want to dust up your brushes. It just really helps so you don't get all kinds of fallout on your face. And especially because I have all my face makeup on. It's not really standing out as much as I want it to. This color is really beautiful. It's all that's on my brush. This is like a brand new brush in. It's really just not translating into this eyeshadow look, which is disappointing. Okay, so that's how far I am right now. I've only used three brushes so far, so that's good. <laughs> And then all I really need to do, actually, I need to dust off some of this excess shadow that's fallen underneath my eyes. Okay. And then I just want to put on a glitter color from this palette. I'm trying to think which one is, like, speaking to me right now. Because there's this really beautiful, like, bright pink up here. This is a pretty peach color. This purple is really pretty. It's like a muted color. This is like a brighter golden color. So uh, let me swatch some of these for you because they are really, ooh, that one felt really nice. This purple, really pretty. Ooh, yeah, this one is like a duochrome. Let me show you in a second here. This one, this pink one is like a duochrome. So it's like gold pink shift, like, Wow. Or like it's pink with a gold shift. Isn't that gorgeous? I think I'm going to go with that color. So let's put that on. Okay. So I grabbed the Morphe M224 brush. You guys know I love that for just packing on shades to the lid. So first I'm going to go with that Fix Plus to see if it'll foil without any help. Because it actually felt like a nice shadow when I touched it. Mm, it's not foiling that great. I'm going to wet the brush, see if that works. Just use the Scandinavia um, setting spray and spray the brush. There is a lot of fallout on my face for some reason. And I'm trying to figure out where it came from because it wasn't there a second ago. I forget how tiny my eyes are. Because I use a magnified mirror when I do my makeup every day. And obviously it magnifies my eyes. So they look so much bigger. But uh, this is pretty much all I'm going to do for um, eyeshadow purposes. Okay, so I did grab my magnify mirror. And I do see that that shadow gave me a ton of fallout right here under the eyes. It looks like I have under eye highlighter on. Because there's a lot of gold flecks in this. Luckily I have a foundation sponge on hand so I brushed it off and now I'm just gonna pat some more foundation on quickly 
it's a very powdery kind of formula, but honestly, this palette is like, what, 20 bucks? It's totally worth it. Okay, so that's everything I'm going to do as far as eyeshadow. So now I'm going to put some eyeliner on and do the bottom lash line. Okay, so I don't really do the most when it comes to my lower lash line. But yeah, I have two different types of mascara that I picked up recently. I feel like I've been in like a mascara funk. So I was at the drugstore yesterday and I usually always get like the Maybelline mascaras and L'Oreal mascaras. But then I saw this one by Rimmel. This is the Volume Colorist Mascara and it darkens bare lashes in two weeks, tints them. Oh, it looks like it's like a color mascara. I don't know. I guess it tints your lashes, but I have dark lashes anyway, so I don't really need, need help in that department, but this is extreme black. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know they made stuff like that, so I'm glad I, you know, took a venture from a path less traveled for me and decided to try something new because I always stick to the same mascara brands, and you guys know I'm a drugstore mascara fiend. And then this voluminous one, I believe, is like Makeup by Mario's favorite mascara to use from the drugstore. So I decided to try it out. I have used this before. Um, this says it's um, Dramatic Volume Building Mascara. It says carbon. this is the shade Carbon Black. Two times the intensity of lashes. And it says that it'll build lashes to five times their natural thickness. We'll see if we can see any dramatic differences. Um, so my lash curler is just the Sephora brand one. These are really good. Honestly, I really, really like them. So if you haven't checked them out yet, please do. So let's do uh, the L'Oreal one first. These were both like under $8. I didn't want to, but there are like mascaras that are like $10, $11 at the drugstore now, which is crazy to me. So, there is one mascara, and now we're going to try the tint one. This packaging feels really hefty. Okay, so overall, just like first impressions, I like the Rimmel one better because my lashes look like more natural. I'm having a hard time with the L'Oreal brush, so now I'm just going to switch sides and use the L'Oreal one on here just to make them thicker. I don't really ever wear um, falsies on YouTube because I don't really wear falsies on a daily basis and I don't really want to create some crazy like expectation um, that I'm going to start wearing falsies in like my tutorials and all my YouTube videos because I a lot of the times will film after work and I don't really have time to be putting falsies on for every video nor do I have the money to buy falsies for everyday use so I do depend on mascara a lot <laughs> to make my lashes work for me um, so yeah this L'Oreal one I'm not a fan of but the Rimmel one is good but now using the Rimmel one on top of the L'Oreal one is not working well ow I just stabbed myself in the eye so one eye definitely looks less better than the other one, but I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, after stabbing myself in the eye, I feel like I've done the best I can as far as this eyeshadow. This one is definitely like running now after that mascara, so that's kind of disappointing, but overall I do like the eye look. Um, there is more to try out with this palette though because there are some awesome like highlighting shades in here. So, um... I don't even know like these two look really fun and pretty um, one is like a rose gold and one is like a regular straight-up gold shade um, so there's those two very pigmented let's swatch those bottom four now this white shade is never going to work on my skin tone as a highlight um, but I do like that they give people that option if they're of lighter skin tones they do have some beautiful highlighters this like really pearly white shade so I'm thinking just from the swatches actually I really like the look of this one right here so we're gonna try that out and I have my Real Techniques brush this is the setting brush but I love to use it for highlighter and I'm just gonna dip in take a generous amount and I don't have really a lot of blush on but let me just go ahead and holy shit <laughs> rub this on oh my god I feel like a unicorn 
Oh Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Wow, I got like a stripe. I should do less, I should do less, I should do less. Okay, so see, I like did less with this side. This side, I think I got a little, little highlighter happy. That's okay. I don't know why my nose decides to run every time I decide to film. I went with that bronzy shade because I thought that would be like closer, like more natural looking as far as my skin tone. But even that one is like, holy crap. Like, I feel like I have a light bulb on. Oh my God. I'm going to use some setting spray just to help it set a little bit. And the rest of my face is so matte that this almost looks like extra scary but uh, hopefully at least it gives you guys a good idea of the performance of this palette those highlighters whoo wow they are pigmented okay so I will be right back okay guys I hope you enjoyed the look I created I am honestly blown away by these highlighters it's insane really quick I want to swatch some of the matte shades for you guys because I didn't think I really did that so here are some of the matte colors and there they are swatch on my arm now keep in mind my skin tone is about an NC 45 at this time pretty tan of course for the summer and things like that but um, some of these shades I feel like will definitely work better on lighter skin tones but overall I do think this is a good palette I don't love it like I wouldn't say you need to like run out and get this right away but I think for the price you're definitely getting some really awesome highlighters I, I'm not in love with all the shimmer shades I did like the shadows like the matte shadows I put on I think they look really beautiful but honestly these highlighters are so BAM like I just I can't get over this highlighter it's insane and I think you could even use these as eyeshadows as well and I should have tried that when I did this look I should have tried tapping some of this on my eyes as well but I'm sure it'll all work but overall I just think this is a really good palette I think she did an amazing job and for it being the price that it is, I think you really can't go wrong with it. Um, if you're, you know, going back to school, new to makeup, and you don't want to spend a ton of money, I think this one has pretty much everything you need. I do wish there were some darker shades for like smokier looks, so you could like darken up your outer V or maybe like a black if you wanted to create like a smoky eye. Uh, but overall, I think this is really good value for money, so I would definitely recommend this palette. Okay guys, that is everything with my Carly Bible Palette first impressions video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!